Your story is filled with heroes and villains and treasures and battles and monsters that have shaped who you are and where you're going to go. These archetypes create a secret language of the subconscious that reveals insights about your personality, your strengths, and your challenges. This is your mythos. This is personal mythology. Hi, I'm City and Morningstar Jones. You might know me from TLC. I also co-authored two books about my grandfather, Rolling Thunder, uh, that ended up on the Joe Rogan experience. I've given talks around the world. I even started the conversation with Apple that ended up in their only acquisition in Idaho. And uh, I have loved those experiences, but they're not what gives purpose to my life. Many years ago, Dr. Stanley Krippner and David Feinstein's book, Personal Mythology, changed my life. And I wanted to get involved in that topic, so I made Stanley my best friend. I knew this topic was deeply important to me, and would be for very many others, but I also knew that very little material had been published about this topic since 1988. On top of that, Stanley has been getting on in his years, and I could see the writing on the wall. If somebody didn't take up the torch for personal mythology, it could be lost. So, for 20 years, I have known and mentored under Dr. Krippner, reading his materials, asking him every question I've had, running all my ideas by him. Oftentimes, we'd even travel the world together, spending time with amazing people like Alex Gray or Selma Hayek. Other times, I'd be sorting his mail, taking care of him after a few health incidents, or filing paperwork at his office. And by the way, if there is a real-life cabinet of X-Files, it's in Dr. Krippner's office. Stanley's been the biggest influence in my life over anyone, so I've always been obsessed with doing this just right. But during those 20 years, I have been like the archetypal frustrated author, crinkling up and throwing away every new version of my work over and over. Every year, I have doubted myself and dreaded total failure of this project, and every year I've picked myself back up off the floor to start it all over again. Not this time, not in 2023, because something is different. For the first time, I have teachers, therapists, and psychologists using my work, even a dentist. There's trauma workers in the Ukraine using my materials right now. In 2023, I am putting personal mythology back on the map, and it is more dynamic and vibrant and alive than ever. This is the last step and the beginning of a great new chapter, but I do need your help. Books need to be printed in large batches, but I simply don't have the resources to do that. It isn't just a book. With your support, we can foster a new movement in self-discovery that's more colorful and fun than anything you've ever seen. I mean, look at it! Who doesn't want a book that looks like this? My mythos is my company, but personal mythology is my life's work. So what is it? Personal mythology is the story that we tell ourselves about who we are and why we're here. For instance, you might say that the color green is your favorite color because you used to build forts in the forest when you were a kid, and so green represents life and abundance to you. Personal mythology is your belief system and the stories behind those beliefs. Now here's the catch. Almost all those beliefs are subconscious and secretly driving everything you think, feel, and do, from what you buy to who you love. You need the right tools to unearth them and other tools to shape them. And that's where this book comes in. What is one of the most fundamental questions we ask someone to get to know them? Children ask it, and then we slowly stop asking it as we get older for some reason. What's your favorite color? But why do we ask this? It's because we know that colors are like this archetypal pot where it's just swirling with meanings that were put in there by the person who keeps that color close to themselves, 
and it says something about them. Almost every person has grown up with the personal myth that green represents life and nature, and red represents danger because blood is red. So while personal myths like these can be very individual and differ from person to person, there's still a great deal of shared myth around the world. With this book, you will not only explore the meanings of colors, you will learn to use those meanings to improve your life, to calm or motivate you, to help you sleep, uh, to deepen your experiences and bring more magic into your life, and to help others. If you believe in the power of personal mythology, make a pledge today, and let's help each other to live mythically.